Hey everyone, it's Aaron with Hale Varsity. I'm joined by Greg, also of Hale Varsity. We are outside of Memorial Stadium, just finished another post-practice with Coach Scott Frost. We are just two days away from game day. Nebraska is getting ready to head to Illinois to face the Fighting Illini. It's a big noon matchup on Fox, so let's kind of recap the week before we, we get into uh, essentially all of the fun game day stuff that you're. I know you're all so excited about. Um, Greg, we've heard from Coach Frost now twice this week, a slew of players and coaches. What has been your biggest takeaway? Yeah, I think the, the first thing, first and foremost, is that Scott Frost is excited to take on Illinois. He is excited. Like, I, I think that we can firmly say that he's excited for this game. Um, the players also seem pretty focused and locked in. Like, I thought that the mood of the team was really good um, on Monday and the other. I think we talked to a couple of them on Tuesday as well. Um, I thought that they were in good spirits as well. Like, I just think that it's been a no news is good news kind of a lead up to the first yeah. game. It really has been. There really, I mean, we haven't heard anything significant about injuries. Now, we also did not get an update on um, someone like, say, Travis Vokalek, although he did, not to read into it too much, did share something on Twitter and Instagram, a photo of himself. So that seemed promising. But again, we did not receive it. A, a, an update on him and his status. So we don't really know any of that. We also haven't received a depth chart. We probably won't get that until, I'm just going to say, right before the game. I would say we're, we'll be eyeballing it during warm-ups <laughs> is what will most, I think, what will end up happening with that. Yes, and if you're somebody who's like, well, I, I'm curious who's going to be there, you can actually head to hillvarsity.com, bookmark it now. We keep an eye on those those warm-ups pre-game and look at who traveled. Obviously, a travel roster doesn't mean anything as far as the depth chart is concerned um, because Nebraska has traditionally, for instance, traveled with all of its quarterbacks or at okay. least three of them, um, but usually all of them because you just never know. But that obviously doesn't tell you where the depth chart shakes out. So if you're wondering who's in that backup spot, you, you aren't going to know that just based on the travel roster from the get-go. So but that will be interesting in spots like running back, right? That's true. And so if we mm -hmm. if we started off fall camp talking about four or five even running backs battling for a spot, you typically aren't going to take five running backs especially if those bottom two aren't playing special teams, right? right? And so that will be something to keep an eye on as well. It will be. There's a number of positions I know a lot of people are going to have their eyes on that uh, corner spot opposite of Cam Taylor Britt this week. They did narrow it down. It was Braxton Clark and Quentin Newsom yep, were the two, two that uh, Basically, it, it sounds like it has come down to them. Although we do know that Travis Fisher and uh, Eric Schneider mentioned this week, he likes to rotate his players. So even if we do know who that starter is at that spot opposite of Cam Taylor Britt, does not necessarily mean you won't see rotation. Yeah, I think that, and think about the way that college football is played now, you're going to end up seeing more than like two cornerbacks play in a college football game just because teams are going to run three and four wide receivers out there. So I think we'll see plenty of whoever doesn't ultimately quote unquote win that battle. Also, you can tell it feels like, I know we're getting into fall, but you can tell it's still summer. It's very warm in Lincoln right now. It's going to be warm in Champaign. Uh, we actually are excited to have Rusty Dawkins back with us this fall. He'll be providing weather updates for those of you, whether you'll be at the game or you're curious how weather might affect the game itself. The reason I brought that up is because all of the cicadas that you can hear <laughs> in the background of this, it is like officially fall as far as game day is concerned, right. but it is still very firmly summer. Sure. So so it is going to be warm in Champaign. Uh, that is something that I know that they're keeping an eye on. Obviously, that's a big time where you have to focus on hydration because cramps can be more prominent when it's very, very warm. Yep. So, I mean, it's nothing that Nebraska is not used to. I mean, it's going to be warm in Illinois, but it's warm here, too. So they Scott Frost said earlier in the week that they've been trying to get them outside, do what they can to get them adjusted, acclimated to the humidity everything else so it's it's really should not be a surprise come game day yeah and this is also where depth comes into play right mm -hmm. what has been one of the big themes of this fall camp and even going back to spring especially depth on the lines on both sides yep. of the ball right so if we've heard about offensive line defensive line going deeper than they have before under scott frost that first game will be a nice test of that to see if that's actually coming to fruition now um when we shared our video earlier this week uh one of you said let greg talk more <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to say, if you want to hear Greg share more, not only can you head to HaleVarsity.com, but he does have a podcast. It's the Straight Up Breakdown yes. podcast. You can go subscribe right now on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, wherever you get your podcasts, and hear 
all you want about from Greg. <laughs> you can. It's a lot of me uh, that you can hear from. This week I had Brandon Vogel on talking all things Nebraska, Nebraska versus Illinois, and kind of a season preview as only Brandon Vogel can really break it down. Only Brandon can do. But, you know, we have so much more at Hale Varsity, so if you're looking for more updates from practice, if you're just kind of wanting to get ready for the game, because we do have the I-80 podcast, or the I-80 preview podcast is live for the week. We'll have weather updates. We'll also have updates going into the game itself. I will be in Champaign alongside Steve, our new football beat writer. Uh, we will also have a photographer there. So you will have video, photos, updates. Um, Greg is going to be at high school football tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be a busy time. Oh, Jacob is going to be at volleyball, so you'll have volleyball updates. Uh, in fact, head to hillvarsity.com. There's been a change in schedule for volleyball for the weekend due to a team not being able to travel and attend due to COVID-19 issues. So you just really should bookmark Hale Varsity, subscribe. There's a lot. There's a lot there. There's a lot happening. Right a now. lot of Greg. <laughs> too much Greg, maybe, no, but that's okay. Never too much Greg. Okay. All right. Well, we always appreciate you uh, joining us. We'll be back. Um, Greg is actually going to be joining Brandon after the game on Saturday for additional updates. So if you enjoy these videos, tune in for that, and we'll talk to you soon.